Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jesper van Wammen Kunz and today I'll educate you on how to play a poke composition in a competitive League of Legends environment. In this video we'll cover these subjects. What is poke and why should my team do this? What are the fundamental parts of a poke composition? How can you set up a poke composition and which champions are good in terms of poke? How can you set up a siege and a breakdown of a siege? Poking is when you slowly grind down your opponent's health by hitting them with long range abilities instead of going into an all out fight. Examples of poke are Seraph's Arcane of Pulse, Nidal East Javelin Toss and Jace's Shock Blast. The idea is to build a team consisting of champions that are able to safely poke with long range abilities when sieging, forcing your opponents to back off of a tower because of low health. When the enemy is forced to disengage, you can then take down a turn or force a favorable fight because of your man advantage. Because of poke being a fairly safe way of getting advantages, it's a straightforward way of playing together as a team. It's not as easy to execute as a team fight composition, but it's one of the easier ways of playing in a competitive League of Legends environment. In order to create a poke composition, you will want to focus on three things when you are drafting. Poke, wave clear and disengage. Well, isn't that obvious? You are going for a poke composition, so obviously you'd like to run poke. Having a high capability in terms of poke means that your siege potential will be stronger. When running a poke composition, you are looking to siege. In this case, Strong poke equals a strong siege composition which equals an easier game to win. Examples of poke are now present on your screen. It's pretty instrumental for any poke composition to have good wave clear. When you have a good wave clear, you are able to kill the enemy minions faster, which means that your waves can roll up to the enemy turrets faster as well. The easiest way to get wave clear on top of your poke is to get poke abilities that also function as wave clear. Examples of wave clear and poke are present on your screen right now. Having disengaged means safety in your composition. As a poke composition, you do not want to fight in an all out fight. You are looking to keep your enemies at bay and peel and kite if they engage onto you. In terms of disengage, you can look to go for two different routes where mixing these two routes are usually the best way to go. If your whole team are able to run fast, then you obviously are able to run away from your opponent's engage. Therefore, getting some kind of movement speed is always advisable in order to stay safe. Examples of movement speed are present on your screen now. Crowd control impairs your enemy's ability to catch you as abilities that define as crowd control are knockups, knockbacks, stuns, slows, snares and so on. A popular champion to use for disengage is Gragas. His ult, the explosive cast can be crucial with its potential to knock back multiple enemies. On top of this, his barrel roll can be used to stop a team in its tracks. Another champion that can be used is Janna. With her Howling Gale and Monsoon, you can always keep enemies away from you, while Eye of the Storm buffs up a friendly champion's damage. Another crucial part of a poke composition is to maintain vision control. When you have vision control, you should never be in a position to be flanked slash engaged upon from an unfavorable position. As previously mentioned, a poke composition wants to siege, not go into huge teamfights. So, maintaining vision control is crucial in order to counteract flanks and execute the composition safely. Building a poke composition is fairly easily. As previously mentioned, you need to mix three different traits in order to create your poke composition. And obviously, I have already mentioned a bunch of different chapters that can work in a poke composition. However, now I would like to walk you through two different poke compositions, why they work and what their win conditions are. Composition 1 that is currently on your screen is a good example of a poke composition. Starting with the essential poke. Coming in from both Ezreal, Karma and Nili, this composition is not lacking poke at all. And on top of this, the composition even has a movement speed buff from Karma's Mansha plus Inspire combo, while also packing a fair pack 
of disengage from the crowd control coming in from Alistar and Poppy. The composition works because of their ability to have consistent damage throughout all stages of the game. Nidalee is a reasonable early game jungler, meaning that pressure can be put onto the opponents of this composition from the get-go. While Poppy isn't the most dominant top lane anymore, she can still lay down a lot of damage onto her opponent. This means that Nidalee can visit the top lane early on in order to get a momentum rolling for her team. If she gets Poppy ahead, there will be a stronger tank to play around with in the siege scenario for this composition, meaning that they can feel safer. Karma in the mid lane will not put down a lot of kill pressure, but with her pushing power, she can push her opponent in while staying safe because of vision plus her shield from her mantra. Once Ezreal moves out from the laning phase, he'll slowly scale up to become a late game monster. It will be hard to stop him from doing so, as there is a lot of crowd control in this composition. Composition 1's win conditions are as follows. Get out of laning phase without being too far behind and start to group up. Place necessary vision in order to let Ezreal scale, siege up while being on full alert from an incoming flank, and poke enemies down as this team would not be the best at diving slash team fighting. Composition 2 is a bit more of a soft poke composition. Obviously, there are poke from Varus's piercing arrow and Korg's missile barrage, but the unusual thing, however, is that while this composition can poke, it can also look for skirmishes. Elise is a strong early game jungler who, paired up with Korg's roaming capabilities and Cannon's slightly maelstrom, can dictate the game. Obviously, Elise's cocoon, Alistar's headbutt and polarize, and Varus's chain of corruption and Cannon's slightly maelstrom can be used defensively. The beauty, however, of this composition is that if you get to dictate the early game and end up getting ahead in terms of gold, this composition can use all of the aforementioned abilities in order to execute dives slash devastating fights for the opponents. So, poke and disengage is in order, what about wave clear? Well, Korg's Phosphorus Bomb offers wave clear on top of Varus's piercing arrow and hail of arrows. I'd like to mention that this composition was used by the Rocks Tigers against KG Rolster on the 21st of January 2016. So obviously, an aggressive early game team like Rocks Tigers would have no problem getting ahead with this comp, and if they were to fall behind, they would have another win condition to play around with. The win conditions of composition 2 are Dictate the early game in order to get ahead Place necessary vision in order to defend carries and keep up the sieging See jump while relentlessly grinding down the enemy's health bars, and when enemies are low, engage with slicing maelstrom and chain of corruption. In order to set up siege, you want to gain control over an area. This means that you should first of all make sure that at least one side lane is pushing. When one side lane is pushing, your opponents are forced to send someone out to the side lane to deal with that push, and that is step one. Step 2 is then making sure that vision is in your control. As I've mentioned earlier on, a poke composition is very vulnerable to flanks and hard engages. If a team have control over the vision in an area, sieging should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Step 3 is then making sure that your minions are pushing towards their turret while they have no minions to play around with. When your minions are pushing, staying close to a tower is easier, which also allows your team to slowly grind down the tower. In this game from the 2016 NA LCS Spring Split Week 6 between NRG and Dignitas, we see NRG going for a poke composition. Ezreal, Karma and Nidalee all function as pokers that will allow them to see up. Around 14 minutes 20 seconds into the game, we see NRG looking to see up the mid lane. Altec has made sure that the bottom lane is pushing, which means that Dignitas have to respond to that lane and Impact has pushed Billy Boss in, in the top side. Energy know that their biggest problem would be a flank coming from Dignitas, and with them knowing that Billy Boss is in the top side, placing a lot of vision in the bot side jungle of Dignitas allows them to stay safe. Because of it being so early on in the game, Impact rotates down to the mid lane to act as a front line for his team, and with Dignitas being split, Energy have an easy time getting onto the tower. Impact realizes that with Dignitas being so divided, Energy have a chance to grab some easy kills, but Energy are not built to team fight, and they end up giving a kill onto Impact. Had Impact stayed in the top side, kept harassing Billy Boss, 
more pressure would have been built up for energy to play around with. The bottom side was already pushing and energy were in a good position to just siege up and slowly grind down that tower. The things that energy did to set up the siege was good, it was simply the execution and the decision making from impact that made this turn sour. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and find me on Twitter. Have an idea about a video I should make? Leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that I'll see you next time.